Okay. Let's head into the dreamscape. Or just read a bunch of data pads talking about the dreamscape. If we can actually, like, experience bits of memories from Edo, that'd be pretty neat. Uh huh. Well, we've. We overrode something, overrode the generator. <laughs> I think I'm gonna have to backtrack for that. What's in here, though? Nothing. Ah, here we go. Super useful. I just need to follow the instructions here to get this thing up and running. What? What instructions? What is she talking about? What? <laughs> okay. I'm gonna assume that she's saying something in response to us maybe walking a little bit too far. Maybe we walked into a trigger. Because I'm pretty sure we opened up that door. It would make sense for the controls for the dreamscape to be inside the dreamscape room. I don't know. Oh, nope. This is just an elevator. Damn it. What the fuck was she talking about? I was staring at, like, a book when she said this shit, okay? I, I don't know what I'm supposed to correlate from that. Oh, 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 wow. Oh, wow. And this is why developers make backup buttons. Alright. <laughs> I gotta... I gotta quit to the main menu. Huh. I wonder where it's gonna put me. Oh, when we first walked into this place. Uh Maybe not so. Data pad's not down there anymore. She didn't respond to that. Gates open over there. Doors are open. Hmm. So we basically just got back to where we left off. Maybe, maybe over here. Nope, everything's offline. Let's head back to the generator thing. Maybe something happened in there while we were looking away. Because we activated something, then nothing happened. Dreamscape power generators manual override. Security lockdown override. And I'm not fully sure where that's going to take me. So, probably once we get the power fully running through the ship, some of these computer terminals are all going to be active. We can get some important information, because otherwise that room didn't have anything of, of value. Okay! I'm not moving! <laughs> okay. I think... I think... I think things are starting to boot up. But, uh, it sounded like I was about to get shot there. Like... Halt, intruder. <laughs> okay, I think I powered it up. Just need to open up the door so we can get in. Well, that should be simple. It seems to be just right here. There. Now to be able to walk into the dreamscape. But first... We got power up and running in this area. Is there anything else I can look at? No. Not on those, at least. Darn. Alright, so this time on this little elevator, I'm not going to move. Just in case the game breaks. 
Be patient. Be patient. Ido, are you really sure you want to do this? I have no doubts, Aaron. All right, Ido. Let's hope that your ship didn't get sabotaged and it really was just a freak accident. Otherwise, this may hurt. Memory sequence okay. engaged. Here we go then. Oh boy. I don't know if I like a room just glowing white. And then I guess I just pass out on the floor or something. Yeah. You like it. Amanda, good morning. Yeah, I'm just finished reading an email from my wife. Just two more days left before you see them again. I am so weirded out right now. I know what you mean. Hello. Natalie Hamada. Dearest, when you read this, you should be only two more days away from us. We both miss you, and we can't wait until you return. Sky's looking forward to seeing you again so much. He's gotten so big, you know. Our anniversary's up soon, too. You haven't forgotten the date, right? I can't believe it's almost seven years already. All I want is to just be with you, having our family be together again. I can't wait until April 14th. It'll be our day. We'll be at the port waiting for you there. They sent us two tickets and booked a hotel for all three of us so you can get some rest before we head back home. Home. Sounds good, doesn't it? Love you. Natalie XXX all He's got this little bunny here Welcome to the Columbia Welcome to the universe All right, the first pioneers the ones who went into the unknown To bring it back to humanity What was I recognize this place. It feels very nostalgic to me was Ido one of the last pioneers because of this accident, or did it just so- yeah, I mean, like, is it just because afterwards it became a lot more popular to go through space, so he was no- there was no longer being just a pioneer. It was just working for the governments, or the corporations. Can't use that. But I like the look of this Columbiad. It's funny thinking that this ship was made Probably around the same time as as the SD zero and the SD zero one. We've been having some internal issues this morning. Irregular power fluctuations have been occurring, and we're trying to figure out where they're coming from. Is it serious? Doesn't seem to be, but I need your help. I need you to head over to the power station and turn the power regulator back on. Sure thing. I'm heading over there now. <laughs> oh, that sounds like a pretty big deal. Our power's starting to fluctuate. Uh, I don't know about that one. Hey there, isn't your wedding anniversary coming up soon? Yeah, 1404 is the big date. You must be excited. You have no idea, Amanda. Can't wait to see both of them and give them the longest hug in their lives. <laughs> I'm counting the hours already. I sounds more cheerful than the audio log we got beforehand. I kind of want to go back and like listen to it again because I don't remember the full information from it now that we have a little bit more context about Ido. But yeah, if anything ever fluctuates with the power, I would just like shut the mission down. There. Oh, this thing that has a potential to blow up is starting to have a higher chance of blowing up. Mm, don't know about that one. Although I guess to be fair to these guys, they're two minutes, two, two days away from getting back to Earth, so... They should have been fine. Come in, Amanda. It's back up and running again. Great. I'm sorry, but the one maintenance is down as well. Both of them? That's never happened before. Yeah, I know. It's odd. No worries. He'll be up in no time. No, a lot of worries. Both power regulars being down on the ship? God. It just... It smells like sabotage. The problem is that if Ida was injured during the explosion and the intent was to grab Ido to experiment on him, it's kind of too risky. Like, they probably could have just done something besides blow up his ship with him inside of it. So maybe it wasn't really sabotage for the sake of getting Ido. It could have still been sabotage for the sake of killing them. Ooh. Oh god. 
What the? Hey, Amanda, I got a code yellow over here. The regulator is dead. What? It's not responding to anything. Okay, Ida, get up to engineering. I don't know what's going on, but the guys over there are seeing a number of components shutting down. What the heck is going on? I'm not sure, but we have to fix this now. I'm heading over there. Oh. Oh. Amanda, what's the status? Bad. Awful. It's got to be awful. Hey, Amanda? The system is down. Whoa! Oh, we're in space! <laughs> we got knocked down and put in space. We should head to the med bay. Ido, come in. Can you hear me? Amanda? I I'm here. What, what, what happened? Are you hurt? I... Yeah. Badly. Well, that's left. Get yourself treated. I'm staying here on the bridge and attempting to get a signal out. Okay. Okay, I, I, I'm heading to the med bay now. I can't... Uh, I, I can't focus properly. <coughs> I'm not sure if I can make it. How does she know? Does everybody else just die in a single explosion? Do you copy? I think Amanda's dead. Amanda, please. Amanda, please. Please come in. What the fuck happened? Amanda? Definitely dead, but at least she got the distress speaking off. Maybe. Every sequence complete. We still don't know exactly what happened. Things just, it seems almost like a terrible accident. I don't know. Anyways, 1404 I think is the code to Ido Hamada's room. You know, are you okay? It was hard to witness, but I'm sort of relieved to finally learn something about my past and why I'm here. Yeah. I know the code to the door. It's 1404, my anniversary date. Are you sure? I mean, how can you be so certain? I just know. Let's head back to Delta Lab. Okay, let's go then. Did John see any of that? <laughs> that's... Actually, that's not really clear if John was able to like, you know, like if that was all through our camera, or... Or just all in our head. But he didn't comment on it, so... Either he's processing or he didn't see shit. Alright. We... So close to getting through this mystery. What is happening here, Amada? Ido, look. There's a cryostasis chamber in here. I. I need to know, Aaron. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> That's terrifying! What the fuck? Ida Hamada is actually a zombie from space the entire time. All right. Subject found in stable condition after the successful WBE transfer. Oh, this is the information we had beforehand. But it's still got the same like successful misspelling as Zavestful. Ido, I don't think you're gonna be in here, buddy. Oh, would you look at that? He actually is. Oh my god. What? No. Ido. This is Ido Hamada. I'm recording a message for anyone who may find it. The crew of the Star Trek has done so much for me. But in the end, it was me or a part of me that has done extensive damage to both the SD-01 and the Star Trek itself. 
From what I've learned, speaking to Selena Archer, one of the crew members copied me and then uploaded it onto the SP-01. I'm not entirely sure why it was done in secret, but the intent was good. Archer expressed deep concerns to how authorities back on Earth would react to me being in my state. The crew wasn't even sure how to transport me over to a more ground facility that would even accept to house the equipment for me to exist. So one of the crew members tried to run an early test to see how much of me they could hold in this new system that was in early development. A basic test. However, this... duplicated version of me, despite all the security measures taken, found a way into the main system of the SD-01. No one knew what was happening. Yet it dug deeper and deeper into the system, becoming something like a, like a ghost. It started to cause problems which led to dangerous situations. When the SD-01 docked to the star drop, my copy was able to get on board as well. Only after that happened did they start to figure out what was going on. It was discovered under the designation of NX-7. By their self, so to speak. Found its way to the central mainframe facility and has been wreaking havoc all across the ship. Locking doors, changing passcodes. It seems that after it was found out, it was trying to preserve itself. Defending itself, I guess. And now it seems that we're not even able to get back to Earth. We're stranded. I've devised a plan to try and save everyone, but I'm not even sure it's enough. The ship's long-range communication systems have also ceased working. And to top it all off, I'm starting to lose my memory. I've forgotten the names of my wife and daughter, and I'm starting to forget what happened to me. I'm... scared. You know. I... I didn't know. What... What do we do now? There's another you on board? Aaron, you don't think that I'm the copy, do you? I don't believe that for one second. Then why is my body here and not my... conscious? I mean, why wasn't I here? I think they were trying to preserve his memory. memory. Yeah, what I said. But what matters now is that we get to the damn mainframe. But how? Excuse me, you guys, but one of the terminals was activated just now. Maybe take a look there. Thanks, John. Okay. Now, to be fair, he could still be the copy. I mean, after 50 years, maybe the copy put itself together in a more complete state. But what really matters now is what we're going to do to fix this mess. Elevator mainframe. Wow. I don't know why this We're back why this room had access to it, but okay. Now get down there and reboot it. You got it, mister. I was surprised to find him still in cryostasis. I mean, he's dead. I'm pretty sure he's full dead, but they've got his body here. I wonder if they're gonna be like, it'd be really amusing if there were actually like a ton of Edos, like it's just been replicating itself over and over again for so long. But at some so, point, this is the main Selena Archer talked to Edo. It's the mainframe's maintenance hub. Or one of them. You need to use the service elevator to get to the transit system, which leads to the mainframe's core elevator. Okay. Let's run that by me again. I was in the middle of thinking, find the elevator to the transit system. You got it, got it, got it. Security station, service station. Let me look at my map. This is a sizable floor. Android service station, normal security station, service train elevator. There's a control room all the way over here. A couple of keypads, probably a couple of normal terminals as well. Okay. I'll see what's accessible. That looks just locked, but I could be wrong. Hello. E. Yeah, it is just locked. I haven't really had a reason to use my flashlight, by the way. It's really well, bright. It doesn't look like I'm gonna be able to use the service elevator like this. Yeah, this is a problem. I'm trying to go through the network, but so much is blocked off. The security system down here seems to be disabled as well. There has to be a way to bring down that elevator. There is, but I don't know how. Well, you two sure are helpful. I'm kidding. 
I'll just have to explore the area. Yeah, don't worry, I'm I'll already on try it. Try to see what I can do from here. Roger that, John. At least this hasn't been a deadly mystery. We haven't found like gore or eh, dead bodies. Aaron, I noticed that most of the computer terminals and control panels are all powered down. I think there's a power generator somewhere in the area. Thanks. I'll go check it out. Well, it's okay. I already found it by accident. Well, that's what that's what the coil looks like. Okay. Nice. Okay. I'll have to figure out what this powered up. Cautionary. You also just powered up the security system. There are now two androids and a number of security cameras active. I also noticed there are a number of network terminals around here. You should be able to use those to distract the androids, just like last time. Thanks, you two. Oh, and Aaron? There's a control room around here. You should be able to use that to lower down the service elevator. Alright, I'm on it. Okay, we gotta explore around. Hey, Hendry, sorry to bother you, but something's off. I'm seeing multiple security breach attempts. Some sort of program is trying to hack into the mainframe system. Right now, security seems to be holding steady, but I wanted to give you a heads up first. I'll get back to you when I find out more. Hang in there, buddy. Luke. I'm amused that everyone's only just got like one email a piece. One or two or three emails. They, they kept things clean here. I still wish I could like zoom in on the map so I could be like, okay, where am I exactly? All right, so we got to get down to the control room, which is way on the other side of the map. And at the same time, I need to kind of like access terminals so that the androids are distracted. 20 seconds. All right. Anomaly detected. I can't get out of here. Anomaly. Ah. Anomaly. Hey. Yeah. Yeah. I am an anomaly. All right. All right. All right. You got me. You spotted me. Wow. I went all that way and it was just around the corner. Shit. Where's the security terminal? So we're over by the server room. The security station is back at the area we just were at. Shoot. This place is a maze. I'm gonna leave that 93% and then I'll turn it on later. There are a bunch of terminals. It's ridiculous. Holy shit. Alarm off. Okay. So if I head out and to my right and then straight down, I should be fine. I can get over to the control room and maybe just, you know, turn off all these androids. Here's the android out here. He's checking out a panel. We're gonna have to wait for him to leave. Actually, maybe we can just hijack a thing in here. Nah, this is just the coil. Shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up, ah! Oh. I tried. I tried. There, you little bastard. The fuck? Where am I? Okay, okay, alright. We're just. 
We're going straight into this hallway. But this room is locked, so... I don't know what to do about that. Since it's explore and find a way into the control room we just mentioned, as always, I would highly suggest to use your object scanner for any devices that might be receiving power now that they're lit up. Maybe something in maintenance and storage? Hey! So this is inside the server room, which is a place we just completely didn't have access to. Nice. Ah, oh, there's a data pad in there. Means I'm gonna have to go in there anyways. Okay, right around the corner from the server room, I'm just looking to see if there's where the androids are. There's one down here. Not sure where the other is, but I'm gonna make my run for it. Oh, fuck me. Oh my god, oh my god, they're both right there. I just gotta go. I just gotta run. Anomaly detected. Oh, Jesus, okay. Yoink, yoink, the data pad, thank you. You gotta be kidding me. The android's blocking my path! Okay. So now we have access to the server station. I don't know where that is exactly. That's either the service train elevator room itself or the control room. I'm gonna assume it's the control room. That's tragic. Oh, jeez. Fuck. Christ. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anomaly detected. Alone. <laughs> I just want to go. I'll do this now because you're going to be an asshole and be right outside the door anyways. Twenty six seconds to fix that. Nice. Shit, the server room is still locked off. If I overload every security system, that'd be convenient. Fuck, what in the hell? So here's where we just were a second ago when we accessed the the android. I get I, I don't want to override him again. Unless there's a reason for me to- eh, you know, fuck it. Oh, hey, data pad. Two. Okay, we've got two data pads. Fuck it, I'll read them. Okay. You were right, Jonathan. All evidence suggested that NX-7 is heading towards the mainframe core. I'm briefing Jake about the situation. Right now, our main concern is trying to prevent it from reaching the core. If this fails, I have only one remaining option. I'll make sure that the entire crew will be briefed about this new last-ditch effort security protocol. Let's just hope they don't- I don't have to execute it. Henry Corvin. Hendry, Archer contacted me. You gotta head down to the mainframe core right now. 
I'm not entirely sure what's going on, but it seems that it's related to all the problems we've been experiencing lately. I mean it. You have to head down there right now. I'll send you instructions in a minute. For now, you gotta make sure to gather the rest of your crew and make preparations to lock the core itself ASAP. Chief Engineer Jake Litzig. Okay, well, neither of those helped me out. Hmm. 